Hi everyone, uh, my name is Emmanuel Serrano and I'm the program coordinator for the Science Explorer and also for the Math and Science Learning Center. Here is actually where we make science fun. We're really happy that we got a chance to come here today. Uh, I've, I've seen the students engaged in lots of hands-on activities. Bob here, who's going to help us out some. So let's just, hi, yep, Bob says hi back. Well, I want everyone to know where these bones are. So let's start with our skull. So everyone can feel their skull, right? We have our skull, we have our neck vertebrae in the back. Um, what, what about if we studied modern bones? What might they help us with? A crime scene, right? We might get some information from the bones if we happen to cross the crime scene. Hi, my name's Kumar. I work as a scientist at Rutgers University. And one of the things we do at Rutgers Science Explorer is we actually are involved with um, teaching the kids about anthropology. And the particular anthropologist we focus on is forensic anthropology. So the students will actually learn about the different types of measurements you can make on the skull to determine the sex, the ancestry of the person, and identify how old they are as well. So they're gonna be learning how to investigate crime scenes. Also, we have Outbreak. In this activity, the students will have the role of a scientific research from the CDC. We talked to them about infectious diseases and microbes, such as fungi, parasites, and uh, bacteria. We go through a demonstration where they use a test to determine which species of bacteria that the person has been infected with. Hi, my name is Maraj Patel. I'm a senior here at Rutgers University. I'll be graduating this May of 2020. Over here we have uh, the physics demos that are basically comprised of different physics concepts including like electricity, magnetism, uh, air pressure systems, how we get uh, information about stars by just looking at uh, them through a telescope. I'm really excited to be talking about college in seventh grade. So if I can make start making decisions now, who knows where I'll be in 20 years. Before these presentations, I didn't even know the difference between colleges and universities. And also, I didn't know the difference between majors and minors. I find it really cool that college students, like the ones that taught today, they can actually teach younger generations about colleges like our teachers did today. And I think that's a really fun part. And I did learn a lot about, for example, viruses and physics. So we really want to thank Pathway to Purpose for having us here and um, and also for coming in and speaking with us, uh, helping the children to learn about colleges and giving them this opportunity to experience um, what a college uh, environment is like.